And KD3 dropped mm. also same day as Black Panther. And one of the first lines uh, in the album is, you know, blacker than Black Panther 2. And this is much better and blacker than Black Panther 2. So let's uh, get into it. First off, uh, many people are saying this is a classic album. I, I you know, feel inclined to agree. Yeah, but it is early. It is a great album, though. I've Holy been cow. It. Okay. I guess I really do need to listen. <laughs> if you didn't listen to it, you no, listen. That wasn't enough hype. No, Hold for up, sure, one hundred percent. You nah, didn't listen. To, uh, you had one job, bro. You fired nah, for nah. real, bro. You fired. Nah, don't worry about it, man. Look, we already know what we're gonna do, man. The podcast breakup is written in stone, bro. The question uh, is, who's getting dumped and who's staying on? Yeah, no. Bryson Urban is on one percent of the of the podcast right now. I mean, Bryson, do you like any other Nas albums? I haven't listened to a Nas album in years, man. <laughs> I don't I mean, even. Th- I didn't listen to King Disease One. I didn't like. I'm not checking for. But you do a podcast like, where we say we will talk about it. Hey man, when I got home, I did your kids' time. homework, brother. I you was, put uh, your headphones you know, in. You got your headphones in anyway. You could have been in the car listening advice. to. Wait, try and get his betting advice up, man. Now, hold on, now, hold on. All right, let me listen. Need this right man now. to stop losing money, so let him do his betting. Advice. No, you can't listen now. It's too late. You failed. Um, as far as the album goes, though, I thought it was very good. I mean, you gotta give it time to talk to so classic. I thought I thought they were tripping on the magic being classic. I thought that was a little too much. Um, but I thought definitely for sure on this one, this is Hit Boy's best production he ever did with Nas consistently for a whole album. I don't think that's even close. Um, and I've seen a lot of people acting like magic was was better or that they even loved the first two KDs, and I think those first two KDs have some skippable tracks. Let's put it that way. Yes, I, the first two KDs I don't think are at this level. I like Magic a lot as well. My thing is, I, as I already said that, I, I don't really care about this whole classic title. I think it's uh, used way too often. So I just would rate this this album, if I had to rate it, a 5 out of 5. And that, to me, that is, uh, you know, that's my rating. So whatever <laughs> you want to label that. If I listen to this album and it's less than amazing, I'm going to be so upset. Y'all are going crazy right now. I, this thing I just came we, out on Friday. Y'all see. love it this much? We, well, yeah. I mean, I've been playing really it. So, so let's 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 get into it because there's a lot of things to talk about from the album, and you would know that if you listened to it like you were supposed to. So, uh, I'm a genius! I got the lyric breakdown now. First off, on the sun, uh, done. He talks about everyone was talking about this on the internet. He he mentions Jay Z. And I, I love this album. One of the most, to me, the one of the best things about this album is, well, there's so many great things. Nas is rapping well. The beats are better than, people talk about Hit Boy. Hit Boy didn't impress me on any of those other albums. Correct. But on this album, his production was, was top notch. Correct. Yeah. And uh, I, I'm not, you know, some people are jumping out the window saying Hit Boy is top whatever producer i i don't i'm not with all that but this is the first album i ever heard from hit boy where i was impressed by his production it was definitely impressive impressed throughout right so we're not saying he never had good beats right i like a bunch of the beats on kd1 kd2 there's a bunch of good songs on those albums but it's it to me it's much more uh it's up and down there and and you can see the differences too because like the first two they play a lot more with different types of sounds different types of people Mm-hmm. on the track with Nas. All of those don't fit. Mm-hmm. I, I admire Nas for trying different things, doing different stuff, um, you know, taking stabs at it, shots at, you know, different sounds and things like that. But on this album, even though it has a lot of different sounds, he's really, like, on his stuff. And and Hit Boy's production is, is really top-notch. I mean, he got great beat switches, great sample usage all kinds of different vibes and Nas fits the pocket perfect on every one of them. So I think it's um a big time, just big time achievement for, for Nas, another feather in his cap, another reason why he's the greatest. Yeah. And so uh I love Nas. I, I think he's should be considered number one or at least in everyone's top five. So I I mean that's where I'm at with it, you know. Uh so but the debate is always with Jay-Z and that's why the internet went crazy when he mentions Jay-Z on the album and he says, you know, um, you know, breaking down, you know, uh, lyrics to take over, 
Uh, sometimes I text uh, Hova like, you know, this ain't over. And so I d- want to talk about, I mean, this first aspect of the album is it's all about black unity. And he says, you know, right before that line that brothers can do anything when they decide to. And I like this theme. Now, I brought up before about how, you know, we should give forgiveness to one another. And you guys were like, nah, you know, some, in some ways. So, Bryce, since you didn't listen to the album, but you could at least speak on this. If you heard, you've heard Takeover and you've heard, you know, this beef about Jay Z and Nas, right? Are you familiar with that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So, all the you things. Lie when that even happens. Uh, I don't think so. If all those, might have been. All those things no, were, were <laughs> if all those things were said about you, somebody said all those things about you, or if uh, you know did all those things uh, to you, you know, then would you be cool? Could you be cool with them? This is like our grudge thing, but I don't know, man. Like I feel that's kind of lame. Like they already had the stage moment. They made the songs together. They suck, but. They made a couple songs together. I don't think they all I mean, suck. I like success. This, they don't all suck, but they're... I, I like mean, Black Republican, yeah. too. I, like, I mean, I like them. Yeah, 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 it's all right. But anyway, to come back 20 years later, literally maybe 20 years later, right? Is it 20 years later? Mm-hmm. Then yeah, you're like, nah, this ain't over. No, 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 no. But he said, it's joking. Like, He's just joke. laughing. Yeah, that's joke, just a joke. Yeah. See, if you would have listened to the album, yeah, you would know that. Too. He's not I mean, he's answering the right question the way you out. brought it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I said he forget he's forgiven. He's not holding a grudge. I say he's not holding yeah. a grudge. I say, mm-hmm. would you forgive but, someone after all that stuff? Could you be cool where you're texting and laughing about the things that you're saying about me? Is what I'm saying. Sure, yeah. Definitely. I think that's okay. I mean, yeah, that's it's over. If we're all if we're all cool about it, though, that's the thing. Like if it, we're supposed to be passes, there should be no salty feelings about somebody saying this or that. Like, this line should not warrant a response from Jay-Z at all. It should no, be it okay. No, no, no. It's not. It's not this, that's the thing. That's just so interesting about it. It's not, they, they clearly still have some competition. Jay-Z tried to, like, step on his height or, or, or felt some type of way so he showed me pictures of all these Grammys, which are trash. Grammys mean nothing. Um, and and uh, we don't get to that. And, like, now it's all about how he still feels competition, um, you know, with different, with different artists and things like that. I mean, but one thing I love about this album is Nas talks about everything that people say and everything that people mention and talk about. He, he, he brought it up to address stuff directly. He talked about every controversy with every person that he had or has. Uh, this is absolutely fantastic writing on his book. Yeah. You sound a little muffled now, B. Uh... Um... I don't know, man. The way I feel about now is it's like, all right, he's a great for sure. He's a legend, a goat, all of that. But the same way I feel about artists, I don't know. I feel like artists have a shelf life to me personally, I guess. Like he, nothing that he makes is gonna make me think of him any better. Same thing, like once you reach a certain point, once you reach GOAT status, there's nothing that you can do to make me look at you better. There's rarely anything that you can do to make me look at you any worse, but of course there's something wait, wait, that you wait, could that's do. That's like if if Tom Brady wins another chip, you won't think of him even better. No, once you once he got had to come back against the uh, Falcons after that, your goat stat like that was un, it's undebatable to me. Like this is, is going to so, be he can, But the reason why 10, is it, 15, what difference does it make? The difference, okay, the difference it makes is you're separating yourself from the next person up, one. Two, in, uh, you know, let's say in some future, okay, uh, mm-hmm. there's going to be another rapper, right? And people will be arguing about how much, how many classic albums that rapper has. And if, you know, you are still saying, oh, uh, but Nas is the GOAT, you have to be able to say numbers wise, you know, with the number of chips or number of classic albums that why that person is better still. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't agree the, with that. So, <laughs> why not? Because, all right, Tom Brady has seven, right? Or, yeah, he has seven. After Atlanta, he had 
five, I think, because he won the one against the Rams after that, and he won this one with Tampa Bay. So he had five with the Ram- with the Atlanta one. After that, it doesn't matter. Even if all right, they're saying now Patrick Mahomes is the next one supposed to be the GOAT. So if Patrick he ever Mahomes gets won five. Okay, he wins five, right? It doesn't matter. At that point, you're just picking whoever you like better. Same thing with not true. LeBron. Look to me, it NBA. is. No, because well, to you it is maybe, but to most people, they can t- continue to count rings. Jordan got six, and they say. LeBron got four. Yeah. Can't get, I mean, you got to catch Le- And that's fine. LeBron. I mean, can't catch Jordan. I, like I said, that that's an argument that I don't like to have because – <clears throat> rings only matter to some people at some points. We're not counting Bill Russell's. You're not counting Kareem's. You're not counting all these other people's I rings that have a lot. Yeah, I definitely count Kareem's. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you count matter. them, but they matter, but they don't matter as much as, like, they're not bringing him up in the conversations that they should be, I feel like. Well, um, there's multiple aspects. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, we, we it's, chips aren't the only thing that matters. So I don't want this to turn into a sports debate because we, we – uh, I talk about but it's in general with anything. Like I said, that's how I feel about any sport, any any comp- competitive thing. Once you reach so far, they're only going to compare you against other greats. So if Patty Mahomes gets three, but his career is amazing, they're going to compare him to Tom Brady no matter what. If he's if he's second bit. best, it depends on who you say. That's what I'm saying. Like some people are still going to take Patty no matter what. They're going to say right. he can throw the ball better than Tom. They, yeah. And this is what that's what I hate about what you're pointing out is what I hate about the lists that I always talk about on this show. I hate lists because they pick and choose which which uh, numbers which they stats want to matter. Yeah. yeah, which stats matter. So I, I agree with you in that in that sense. But it still matters because for the people who are going to uh, consider the championships in the in in their rankings and when they're making the list. Mm-hmm. Winning more chips is not going to hurt your your case. It's only going to help your case. Uh, if you, yeah. So, I, I, but I do agree. I think you onto something when you say that if people who love Nas, they're going to always call him the goat. They were already calling him the goat. And the people who mm-hmm. dislike Nas, they probably didn't change their mind. You know, from this. So that I do think you have a point there. People pick their favorites, and a lot of times, it's, you know, biased. And, you know, people aren't objective about these things. And that's why I wanted to talk about I do want to be objective because I, I, I feel like people have a lot of problems being objective. I, I will talk about in this discussion, I got hate for some of the Nas fans jumping out the window, too, because I got hate for them. Like I said, I don't think Hit Boy's top five product, uh, product uh, or producer like some of the Nas fans are saying. So I, I am here to I do a pushback on that. Right? Hit Boy is amazing. Amazing. Like, if you ever, I don't know if y'all ever saw his uh, verses that he did. He did like one before it was even verses um, <clears throat> against um, Boy Wonder. And Hit Boy has some stuff I didn't even know he produced. Like, he's on Beyonce tracks, like some of our biggest tracks. Like, yeah. Hit Boy is amazing. Um, so, yeah. I'm, I don't know how much slack or flack y'all are going to give him, but I'm going to push back on that because he I'm is not, amazing. I'm not here to hate on Hit Boy. I think he did an amazing job. Like I said, I think he did an amazing job. My point is top five. Amazing, is, but not be better than top five hip hop yeah. So, I don't care about what you did for Beyonce. Right. Beyonce not a rapper, even though she out rap ho on a whole album. But as far <laughs> as what, what really be happening is I don't care what you did with her. She made R&B song, quote unquote. Same, yeah, and same for like uh, Tim Timbaland. Uh, I don't, I'm not you putting him in the top five. Right. Yeah, even though I love those albums, I love uh, the just, I love just Timbaland albums. I love Aaliyah, those Aaliyah Aaliyah songs. Right, that's right. a stat. That's but a stat I'm not to counting, me. I'm not, yes, that's a stat. <clears> but I'm not stat. counting Timbaland as a top five hip hop producer. It's that simple. That, okay, not. that's different. But also, Hit Boy has a lot of hip hop beats that are goaded, like great hip hop beats. So he can do both. That is an extra stat to me. That's like, all right, if one quarterback only throws it, but one quarterback runs and throws it. I'm going to lean towards the one who can do more things. It doesn't matter how you win as long as you win. Yeah. <laughs> so <When> he wins. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, this to me, this is his. I don't know other albums he's produced. It's like it's a whole album. Because this is a mm-hmm. thing. When we talk about hip-hop producers, my top five are going to be producers who have produced multiple classic albums 
a whole albums or the majority of the albums. So you know, all kinds of loops. Yeah, and and so with Hip Boy, to me, this is the first album that I've heard where I'm like, wow, this is him producing front to back. I'm impressed. You could include Magic in that too. So he's he's making a name for him. He's making he's putting a running if you include Magic in that, like many people do. But other than that, that's that's two. There's many producers like whether it's Dre, RZA, Mad Lib, uh, Premier. Uh, you know, and 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 more. You know, uh, Ninth Wonder all all produce classic albums. I mean, the Listening and and Mr. Show are both classic albums that he produced by himself. He's got uh, Back to the Feature produced. That's a that's a uh, classic mixtape by Wale. You hate Ninth Wonder, but I, I like Ninth Wonder, so I'm not, Highly not even gonna get it. I'm not even gonna get into this. Not a top ten at all. <laughs> I wouldn't put him top ten, but we we we'll, we'll get into that another time. We're gonna put him in top ten or twenty now, or whatever. Nowadays, I don't think new pro- new producers don't make full albums like that no more. Like that's not true. Um, they, that's not true. They they just had. I, I'm pretty sure Metro has done a whole um, album before. Metro has done multiple before. And no, Metro is, but Metro is someone's at this point, he's not guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been there for a okay, while. Well, he started with been one person. But he started with one person. That's what I'm saying. Metro came in with Future, and he was just all on Future stuff. All right. And then the people who love Future, his clones, the generation he brought up are like, all right, let me get Future's producer. So most of the people that Metro was working with after that, all Atlanta people. Like, that's different. Head Boy didn't come in the game like that. He was just making one-offs on everybody's thing. All right, I got a beat placement here, beat placement here. That's how most- He didn't have a guy. Okay, so you're saying the only people who have whole albums are people who came in as, as a group, is what you're saying. Is that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, like Boy Wanda and Drake, they came in together. That was Drake's guy. They, like, there's people, but Hit Boy wasn't associated with anybody, as far as I know, because I'm looking at his producer cre- credits and but from he's the beginning, a, he's associated with, with somebody different. now. So uh, that that's irrelevant. Who cares if he came in that way or not? He had to do four albums. Exactly, yeah, but I you're mean, saying those are great. But I'm with one dude that's like, like game star. He, ju- he also just did the game album too, didn't he? Not the whole thing, mm-hmm. but he I, exactly I he did the one with, with Big Sean. He did the one with Benny. He did he did other ones as well. So that's what I'm saying. This is, he's done this for multiple people. So like like that's not even. Yeah, he's just getting there. Is what I'm saying. Like it, this is a recent in his production career. Okay, I mean, how many producers don't usually produce that a whole albums anyway? I mean, like how many? He's done more than I would. I would say he's done about as many as anyone else. Who else you know yeah. that's produced? Uh, you know, six, seven, eight whole al- albums for artists. Is you know okay. like. Mm-hmm. Alchemist, yeah. Alchemist is like forty of them. Right, Alchemist yeah, is number exactly. one, which is why he, you know, uh, who else? I mean, how how many people have done that? That's what it's, a, it's rare. That's what I said from oh, the beginning. Not many Kanye, Kanye, has like Kanye's seven. done that, uh, and, and Kanye has a couple. Kanye has a bunch, but uh, I mean, how many Kanye got? I mean, B, Finding Forever, uh, the, the John Legend. He uh, did the Nas and the and the. Um, oh, that's true. That's true. He had the Nas one. He had the Push one. And his, he okay. he has his own albums. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So we count his own. So okay. Yeah. Man. Um. So that's true. If you count his own, um, because I was thinking Premier had two different groups. So Gangstar, then Prime. Static um, Selector has, has how many? Ones. However many Static albums. Static has a lot of those. Are, you know, a lot of compilations. A lot of different artists. Right. Um. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, I mean, talking about just a single artist. Premier has, has Gangstar and he has Prime. Uh, yeah. Nobody has more than Alchemist. Riz, yeah, yeah. No one has more than Alchemist. No, that's Rizza has Rizza has fifteen or something like that. Yeah, Rizza has a bunch. A ton, a ton. So this is what I'm saying. So we, we, this wasn't meant to be a whole product, product producer uh, sidebar here, but let's get back into. Uh, so I was talking about the Black Unity aspect. I thought that was a big part of the album. So just in general, um, I, I wanted to know. I have, I've never heard an album that was that that focused on that um, and was done as well. Um, I mean, really, generally positive without like being, you know, like on people like y'all ain't doing this, y'all ain't doing that, but really in a positive manner. Um, I think the beats help with that. 
and did a great job with helping Nas to really say those things in such a positive way. Like, uh, it's just the vibe is good. The vibe is good throughout. Mm -hmm. um, and, he, and he's really like, yo, stop shooting each other. Let's come together. We can get rich. Look at how we getting rich. Our brothers could do all kinds of stuff. Very positive. So I have a lot of love for that. 